My life is crazy. I just don't have the time. I just don't know when I would ever have time to work this. Have you ever heard that when you're in network marketing? My name is Landy Martin. I'm a professional network marketer, and I love helping you build big teams and create cultures that no one will ever want to leave. And today, I want to talk about how to handle the time objection. So many people join network marketing for the very reason that they're telling you that they can't join. Um, so if someone tells you, like, I just don't think I would have the time, I'm too busy, we can explain um, how they can overcome that, right? Because in network marketing, you can work it in with the nooks and crannies of your life. So the first thing I might do if someone asks me that question is I might ask them, can you explain to me exactly what you mean by that? So I'm gonna get clarity on what their real objection is, okay? Um, because if you, it's so easy to throw something out like, oh, I don't have the time. Oh, I'm too busy, right? So just say, well, can you, would you mind explaining to me exactly what you mean by you're too busy? And then they're gonna start talking. They're gonna tell you things that's going on in their life and you can pick up that information so that you can add to the story that you have about time, right? You, either you have one or you know somebody on your team who has one. So I love the feel, felt, found method. We always want to listen, validate, and understand how they're feeling. Uh, we always want to empathize with them. We never, ever want to be combative with a prospect, okay? We never want to be like, oh, come on, this takes, you know, blah, blah, blah. So you always want to validate them first. So what you might uh, say, for instance, is I totally understand how you feel. When I got started, I was working two jobs, and I had no idea where I was going to fit this in. For instance, if that's your story or you know someone who has that story, um, and then you'll say, but what I found is that I could work this into the nooks and crannies of my life. I was able to work 30 minutes on my lunch hour. I would jump on a power hour and do like 30 minutes. Then I would do 30 minutes after I put the kids to bed. In one hour a day, I was able to start getting people enrolled and start building my business. So that's just an example of a way that you can share a story because stories are very powerful. Um, and you know, maybe you have somebody on your team for instance, we have a great leader on our team. Her name's Michelle. She's on my team. And, you know, I always say if Michelle can do this business, anyone can. Because she is mom to a special needs kiddo who requires 24-7 medical supervision. And so she has to literally be there if he goes into a seizure, he can stop breathing or whatever, right? And I always say, like... Because it's important to her, she finds the time to reach out and do her contacts and make her posts and things like that. But she has a full-time job just taking care of him. So that's a story you might want to share. You know, maybe somebody's busy with the kids. That's a great story that you can share. So share a quick story on how you can relate. Um, and then, you know, whether that's your own story or someone else's, okay? And another great question that you can ask, okay? This is a really good question. Hey, do you have a plan to eliminate some of the time constraints that you have going on right now? And this is really a good question because it gets them thinking about, you know, if they don't have a plan to eliminate some of the time constraints or do something different or make a change, they will probably always feel like they never have time. So uh, after you share your story and you explained how you were able to work this business an hour a day or two hours a day, and you were able to get so much more time now than you used to have, there, and you're gonna get the wheels churning so they can start thinking, you know, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan to have more time. So um, help them with a plan, okay? Most people think, like here's what I will tell them. Most people think you need copious amounts of time to work a network marketing business, but the reality is you only need about an hour a day to build a network marketing business. And you can decide how much or how little you want to put into it. That is the beauty of it. You work for yourself, you show it for yourself, and you will build it as fast or as slow as you want. But if you don't take that position today and you don't put yourself and at least position yourself to start building a team or start getting a team under you, how are you ever really gonna have more time in the future? And then you might just say, you know, is there anything else that we could answer for you before we put that plan in place today? So that's just kind of like another uh, way you can close them is, you know, asking them, is there anything else you need answered before we put a plan in place to help you get more time? 
because if time is really their concern, then they might be willing to do something about it once they visit with you and talk with you and realize that, hey, you are in the same situation and you found a way to do it. So I hope this information was helpful. Please put a like, a comment, and subscribe down there and hit that bell notification for my next video and I will see you at the top. Landy.